Exactly how is this helping you get away besides giving an excuse to show your muscles? Did the police put an APB out for a smelly Caucasian man with 5 o'clock shadow? That's like half the dudes in Paris. If I'm effective, it's because of one simple fact. I don't give a f Oh really? That's the secret of success, huh, Anthony Robbins? This is good news for the billions of people out there who also don't give a f I don't give a f I don't fucking care. I don't give a f Also, I don't think that space heater is going to do much good in that massive room with the window open. If you're unable to endure boredom, this work is not for you. Nor is watching this movie. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a David Fincher slow burn neo-noir and wasn't expecting it to be an action-packed John Wick movie, but man, the pacing was slow and I kept nodding off to take some naps. I actually liked this movie overall, but my biggest beef was that it was touted for its realism, but all I could see was rookie mistakes that a professional hitman would never make. I'm not exceptional. Actually, you're not even an average or competent professional assassin. Let me count the ways. You've got the window open and are easily spotted, especially at night since you have a floodlight on you for some reason. You're not even using binoculars or taking photos with a telephoto lens on your stakeout, but instead are doing recon by staking out your target's building by sitting 20 yards away while staring at the doorman the whole time. You're constantly showing your face without any disguises or fake glasses except for the distinctive bucket hat, I assume so the audience can see your handsome face at all times. You also mention all these creative ways to make it look like an accident, but decide to go with a high-profile sniper shot at a luxury building which is guaranteed to generate global headlines in a massive Interpol manhunt. You're blasting music on your headphones so you wouldn't be able to hear if someone walked in, or is it just an excuse to play a cool Smith soundtrack? And when someone does open the door, instead of hiding, your immediate reaction is to blow them away. And even though you have God knows how many opportunities to take out your target in his vehicle, or on the street, or even sitting alone in his living room, you instead wait until the last second to assemble your rifle with the damn window wide open, and then decide that the best time to take the shot is when this dominatrix is moving right in front of him. And they call me an assassin. Then when you miss, you have a short window to get in another couple of shots, but instead you're looking at the maid for some reason. Even after he pulled the curtains, he was still visible, but instead you just give up and bolt. That's some real professional stick to -itiveness. By the way, for a guy concerned so much about his health, maybe lay off the McDonald's. Or was it just for some more of that sweet, sweet product placement that's all over this movie? Okay, you've spritzed the sink, but your DNA is still all over that place, including your yoga mat, which was caught on camera and the cops would easily find it since you ditched it right in front of the building. And it was pretty lucky that there happened to be a semi-abandoned WeWork office directly across from your target. Did you time your stakeout to coincide with their bankruptcy? And why are you racing away so fast? The cops don't even know what happened, let alone have a description of the shooter. Do you think they're driving around looking for someone with a sniper rifle? All this fast, illegal driving is only making you look suspicious. And why are the streets of Paris so empty with no traffic? Hey, you didn't lock it up. They're gonna charge you for that. Those muscles. His muscles are number one. A trained assassin always expertly covers his tracks and knows that the best place to toss a pistol is in front of an airport with a million people and cameras everywhere instead of wiping it down inside the taxi and putting it inside a bag. And I don't think spritzing it erases your fingerprints. Okay, you're home free. Just act normal. If you see a police dog, don't freak out and jump out of line looking all suspicious or anything. Do you think they trained that dog to sniff out hitmen who recently sniped someone from a building? For professional, you're kind of a squirrely little bitch. And wearing sunglasses indoors also doesn't look suspicious at all. If it was LAX, at least you could blend in with all the douchebags. I like how they're conducting all this super secret business on cell phones instead of a secure messaging app with a VPN. Uh oh, is this dude an undercover Interpol agent? CIA? Mossad? Oh phew, he's just gay. Ha ha ha, he's using famous sitcom characters as aliases. Yeah, that should help you not draw any attention and avoid any heat. Yes, detective, I distinctly remember this guy because his name was Sam Malone. Why don't you wear a trademark ironic hipster t-shirt while you're at it? Okay, that's actually a pretty good tip, and I'm going to use that the next time I'm on the lam. You can tell we're dealing with the best of the best of the best, since these elite assassins don't leave obvious clues everywhere. The elite. Best of the best. It's a little strange to me that this rich, savvy, and paranoid operator didn't invest in any home security system with cameras at his gate or all around his house. And apparently best practices among pros is to leave the keys in your car with the lights on and to not worry about carrying an extra clip of ammo. 
oh look, you can tell he's an elite operator just by the way he's handling that pistol. If you watch SEAL Team 6 operators train, they usually only use one hand with their free hand just hanging limp for no reason. I heard the best of the best were going to be back here. And when they clear a room, they also suggest just running into rooms without any cover. He's, he's an assassin. Platinum Grey. It would have taken you literally two seconds to turn off the engine and close the door. There's no way it's still there an hour later. There were two of them. It's oh really? Those disguised. two professionals didn't bother disguising their faces at all? They came for you and they weren't about to leave a witness. Well, those professionals obviously did leave a witness because she got away. And then I guess they just gave up and went home instead of tracking her down and waiting for him to come back? These elite assassins really need to work on their stick to Be the best of the best it means you make mistakes and then you go on. Are you alright? Uh, you're not gonna bother asking her any basic questions? What do they look like? Locals or foreigners? Age? Hair color? Did either one of them look like a Q-tip? He was an assassin. Trust me, he won't take it personally. Okay, that's pretty cool, but it seems like it would be easy to pull out. So you're sticking with the bucket hat, huh? The most distinctive part of your urban camo? By now, Interpol has circulated photos of you wearing that same hat all over Paris, and now it's all over social media and CNN. So some sketchy looking rando shows up at night at this taxi company and instead of asking him what the f he wants, he just gives prayer hands and he just opens the door? Yeah, he just saw your face and there's probably cameras everywhere, so what are you even doing? I guess you got off him now. I could have walked into that place with 20 bucks and got the exact same information instead of committing multiple felonies and risking a shootout. And why do you gotta be a dick about it? Okay, this scene makes no sense. He was tailing him in this taxi, and later we find out that he stashed his jeep next to this empty lot. But how the hell did he find him again if he drove cross town to park his jeep, and then hailed a taxi to somehow relocate him? Never yield an advantage. How do I tell them that because of the unfreezing process, I have no inner monologue? The f***ing assassin is now going to kill me. Tell me about your big fair, Leo. Three how long have you been living in the DR that you never bothered to learn any Spanish? Good thing this taxi driver speaks perfect English so American audiences don't have to read any subtitles. You can tell that the two assassins were pros because instead of taking their own car, they rented a f***ing taxi for the whole day with an eyewitness that puts them at the scene of the crime. So after all that risk and effort, he ends up icing this poor driver and the only intel he got was that the woman looked like a q-tip and the guy was a scary looking mother with a bloody leg. No other details. Again, he could have gotten all that information with a $20 bribe, or better yet, he could have gotten it all for free just by asking his girlfriend. Yeah, the sunglasses at night inside an airplane really helps you blend in as a normie. It's a good thing none of those self-storage places have security cameras, and the police don't use any automatic license plate readers to detect stolen or unregistered plates. So the building security is watching this all, and they didn't notice that this random dude who was sitting in his van all day is trying to sneak into their building. Wait a minute, this building only has three maintenance guys. Who the f*** is this guy? Hey Lou, did we outsource our recyclable collection to an outside vendor? Should we at least track this guy in our cameras in the elevator and hallways? Nah, he's got a name tag so he's legit. This operation is just like the one in John Wick because they use the same security protocols. A slow closing glass door manned by an inattentive executive assistant. Instead of ambushing Hodges at home or on the street, he goes through this high-risk Mission Impossible operation. What do you call it? And the assassins accuse the assassin. Yes. I know you yeah, there's no way he would put that information on the cloud, so it's probably on that laptop. Oh, never mind. Good job, moron. He must have learned this technique in Assassin University. When trying to get information, the best way is to nail gun them three times in the chest so they are alive for six or seven more minutes. And that estimated time to death is from his class called Advanced Interrogation Techniques, Nail Guns, Body Weight, and Mortality 201. Stick to the plan. Anticipate. Don't improvise. Maybe we can get a break from Jake's obsessive inner monologue. Oh, now you pull down the blinds? Also, there would be gallons of blood all over the place. But promise me you won't leave things looking the wrong way. People have died here. The wrong way. Need any help getting rid of that body? Ha ha ha, yeah, that seems like totally normal New York City elevator banter. Is this movie set in an alternate universe where ring security cameras haven't been invented yet? Because if any of these neighbors on his stakeouts have them, he's totally screwed. Wait, so you're telling me there's only one hard copy of all this secret information and it's in her house instead of the office? So every night she went home and updated her Rolodex? Get the f*** out of here. 
was November 20. And what the hell kind of filing system is this? Are January, June, and July all filed under J? So you're positive she's dead and you're not even going to check her pulse? A real pro, this guy. You're not really an assassin, are you? Good thing there are no cameras on that ferry or witnesses sitting in those cars with their lights on. Such brilliant, meticulous planning to dispose of a body. Instead of burying it deep in the woods or in small pieces in the ocean, you ended up going with dumping it under this bridge during the Could daytime in a van where a million people driving by can see you? I want to hear you say, I'm not really an assassin. Like a real pro, instead of taking his time to stake out his target and determine the ideal time to ambush him, like when he goes to GNC to pick up some creatine, he does a one-day stakeout in plain view of his target and then decides to break into his house while he's inside. Are professional hitmen not allowed to use GPS trackers or something? Can this dude look any more suspicious? Every outfit he's wearing in this movie looks like the burglar in an ADT security commercial. Hey, instead of obsessing about your heartbeat, how about formulating a better plan of attack instead of hanging out in front of his house with the floodlights on you and a pit bull barking, and then just hoping all the doors are unlocked but not bothering to disable his security system, which just alerted him to an intruder. Instead of maybe sniping him from a window or planting a bomb on his truck, you decide on a high-risk entry with only your pistol and not even a backup knife in case you get into hand-to-hand -hand combat with a caveman twice your size. Good thing that other assassin doesn't have any weapons in his house, but just tackles you instead. No assassin would try that way. But I gotta admit, this guy can take a beating. He'll prove a point. At what point that I can take a beating? Even UFC champions would be in a coma by now, but after this epic beatdown, he just takes a couple of Advil and he's good to go. Good thing that other assassin never learned about shooting through doors. And now the dog wakes up after suppressed gunshots and not after all that super loud fighting and crashing around. Oh good, the bucket hat again to help him blend in New York City where no one under the age of 70 wears one. Your fake IDs are fine and everything, but what about all the cameras that the car rental companies use? And they also scan the photos on your fake IDs too and with facial recognition software. I'm pretty sure you'd soon be on the FBI's 10 most wanted list and featured on America's most wanted as the handsome bucket hat killer. I have the exact same comments as the Florida hit. Why don't you ambush her when she comes home or break into her house because she doesn't have any security cameras or even any dogs? And why you park so close instead of using binoculars? And this might be the most unrealistic part of the movie. In real life, if he was sitting and sleeping in his car all day, there would be at least a dozen neighborhood watch Karens calling the cops on him. No GPS trackers? And your best plan is to pull up next to her when there's not even a car in front of her to block her escape? Six skills. Oh really? Right before you take out a Target, you're gonna walk into this restaurant where all the staff can ID you with your face all bruised up? Get the fuck out of here, man. Help yourself. Afraid it's tainted. Tainted? Yeah, just in case an assassin sits down at my table, I always have the restaurant pre-prepare some poison dishes to offer him. I was surprised at how easy it was. Oh great, now because of this movie, we're gonna see a whole generation of idiots who think they can easily become side hustle assassin ballers. Yeah, don't worry, the cops will assume it was an accident or something. I saw a lot of comments say that he didn't take out the client because of his comment about not wanting to bring too much heat on himself. But if he's worried about police heat, then why doesn't he make it look like an accident instead of using a gun? Good call. Usually when a well-heeled white woman is shot in the forehead in a fancy part of town, it doesn't make the papers and the cops don't bother investigating, even though they can easily find all kinds of video of him and realize, my god, it's the infamous bucket hat killer on America's Most Wanted who looks just like Magneto. How is this guy slipping under the radar without even using any disguises? Fast forward a year later in court. Exhibit 128, Your Honor. These are all the Google searches of the defendant's phone showing him researching all of his victims right before they were terminated. Here he's showing some advanced stealth recon skills. Why don't you just walk up to him and take some pics like the paparazzi? It looks like this multi-billionaire bigwig is still saving up for a home gym. Does he have a Bowflex on layaway or something? Man, I had no idea it was that easy to break into a building that billionaires live in. I guess they all have garage doors that take five minutes to close and the building can't afford any security cameras there or inside the garage or near any of the doors. What exactly were the security guards thinking as they watched this sketchy looking ADT burglar walk under the garage door? At least he wouldn't be so dumb as to walk in front of his target's driver and risk letting him see his face, right? Seems like an ideal place for this illegal transaction. The seller didn't even say how much it was. Is there a standard price for illegal Glocks in New York City? Good thing the janitor was just standing there with his keys dangling from a breakaway keychain. And the janitor's key fob can open all the lockers? I think I'm going to try to break into Jeff Bezos' crib since it's that easy. 
If the delivery drivers aren't entering the front door and past security, then I'm assuming they at least have a security camera back there so they can be buzzed in, right? Nope, doesn't look sketchy at all. No way the security desk is seeing any of this. If you're not going to wear a baseball cap to cover your face, then at least don't look right into the goddamn camera. Oh, so this is what a hallway looks like in the building of the richest people in the world, huh? Looks more like you filmed this in your dentist office and the embassy suites. Ball for not having replaced you soon. Today I learned that the best assassins in the world prefer to pop out while their targets are still on the phone. Got a call back, Mark. Am I supposed to know who you are? Sorry, it's not ringing any bells. You know we billionaires have people assassinated on a weekly basis. How am I expected to remember all of them? I took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. We agreed that for an additional 150... Actually, 150,000 sounds pretty reasonable to send two elite assassins to hunt down another professional who could be anywhere in the world. With all their travel expenses, I'm not even sure that they're breaking even. If I have to come back, maybe a radioactive speck on the lip of your favorite coffee. Okay, now you're talking. Actually, if you were smart, you would have done that in Paris, and everyone would have assumed that it was the Russians. We have common enemies. Show the Russians. What was that? The Russians. So just to summarize the plot, he f***ed up by being sloppy and incompetent and knew that the consequences were death, but then decided to go full Jason Bourne and take it out on everyone, including the secretary and innocent taxi driver, and then tracks down the client, but then lets him go with just a stern warning. You mean that's it? He's an assassin! So, don't forget to like and subscribe.